And welcome on back. It is round two of the Civil War and the Ducks putting up a great fight against the Beavs early on. Sabrina Ionescu adding 21 points and 10 boards for Oregon. And her teammate, Mallory McGuire, on her game too. She was very tough. Going to keep it going too. McGuire finishing with 12 points and four rebounds. So moving ahead to the fourth quarter with Oregon leading 53-47. Cindy Weiss, the story, and just takes over the ball game. Weiss in the zone on fire. Nobody can stop her. Just balling out. Gets it done outside and drives in for a couple of more. She leads the Beavs with 23 points. Oregon State wins 67 to 60, and the Beavs make it 13 straight wins against the Ducks. Now to the men's side, the Oregon State, they paid Utah a visit on Saturday. In the first half, the Beavs drew Eubanks. He throws it down. He finishes with eight points, seven rebounds for Oregon State. Oregon State's Shakari McLaughlin get a solid game, knocks down the three. McLaughlin, 22 points and six assists. But Kyle Kuzma and the Utes try running away with it in the second half. Kuzma leads Utah with 18 points. The Beavs, they keep fighting. Stevie Thompson, Jr., he pulls them a little bit closer. Thompson, a team-high 30 points, but Utah holds on for the 86-78 win. Oregon State now looks ahead to its next game against Arizona on Thursday night in Corvallis. And those Oregon Ducks try taking down stands. Colorado Buffs yesterday. Tyler Dorsey on his hustle in that first half. Dorsey, a little three ball in the corner, and he's just warming up too. Uh, later in the first half here, Chris Boucher from downtown, and Boucher was able to knock it down. I'll tell you what, though. Uh, this guy, Derek White, really the story for Colorado. He had 23 points, and Colorado would go on to win it 74-65. Oregon back in action on Thursday when they host Arizona State. Hey, back to the Blazers. We all know that it's been 40 years since Portland won the NBA title. Well, Salem native Dick Phillips was at Memorial Coliseum when Portland won it all back in 1977, and he climbed his way to the top of the rim to celebrate. We caught up with Phillips about being a part of one of the most iconic images from the 1977 NBA championship. And that was back in the day when I paid $40 for a scalp ticket for a courtside seat for the for a championship game. I don't think you could do that today. As soon as Portland won, I thought I'm going to get the net. So I zapped down the aisle and went right up the back of the standard and some kid was down there getting the net. So the next thing I knew, I was just standing there behind the backboard doing word number one, word number one, and leading the crowd in cheers. And it was just pretty, way it was way cool. That was awesome. We'll stay right there to find out who is grabbing the number one spot in our Super Six Plays of the Week. You don't want to miss it. Details on the other side of this break.